back in. We started with uh, Finn. So that was, uh, that was something, something that rubbed me to win, wasn't it? Yeah, we were needed that after um, the two losers to Toulouse. Um, and then the first half was a little bit ropey, but then the second half was a great performance from the boys and it took a lot into the end of the game in that second half. Yeah, it must have been important to come back from that to lose game and put in a performance in that market card. Yeah, it really was. Like I say, first half after the first two losers, it could have easily been the same sort of way. And it could have been a tight loss, but the second half, they were scoring no points for us, getting two tries and four points. Obviously you missed a couple of kicks yourself, uh, you don't want to bring that up and embarrass you, but how, how do you maintain your confidence and your focus when that's going on? Um, I think after last week I was still thinking about those kicks and losing only three points and missing two. And uh, this week it was a different game, different kicks, every kick is its own kick, so we missed a four in the first half, then we're back at a couple in the second half. But, um, not the hardest, though I don't think it's the hardest to sort of point it and just go the next kick. Shane, so. I wonder if I could ask you, um, obviously they scored just before half time and it looks a little bit dangerous at that point. What was said if you could tell us in the change room at half time just to, to, to boost the boys up again? Uh, not really, to be honest. There was, was a lot of uh, shouting going on at half time. But it needed a bit of that. We, had, we didn't really play that well in the first half. We played right into uh, Monson's hands. Some of the refereeing decisions, I would say, uh, slowed the game down which uh, suited what they wanted to do, certainly coming over here. 18-9 uh, to, to win 21-18 is, is probably a testament to the effort the guys put in. But we needed to play much better in the second half, and we managed to do that. Obviously, you're not going to openly criticise the referee in this situation, but it did seem at times that you were playing against 16 men, and he could be wearing a monster at all. One, one of the issues, I think, was the feeding at the scrum, for example. We got pinged for doing that once, they seemed to get away with it all the way through the game. It must be frustrating watching that from them. It was really annoying when the law is you've got to put the ball in straight. So we have put the ball in straight. They're going to win and put it in squid. And then when we put it in marginally squid, we get penalised. So uh, I would say it, was, it wasn't 16, it was 18 we were against the big. So we've done for a couple of squid throwings as well. So. I suspect you're not going to want to pick out too many individuals, but what a performance, what a shift Johnny Green did. I mean, he's absolutely fantastic. You look at a player like uh, Paul O'Connell and all he's done, Johnny Green has got all that head on, definitely. He's that sort of player, fantastic player, and, uh, and, and all credit to him. Thanks for the So, how important is it now from your point of view to instill in players that you know, we've got a season ahead of us, or half a season ahead of us, got to maintain the consistency and stay at the top of the division? We'll stay at the top of the league, we've got Edward coming up the next two games, so it doesn't get any bigger than that for us. Uh, two massive games, two games we, we really hope to win, uh, and then we move on from there. That's really as far as we would look. Fred, if I could just ask you, obviously you're not in charge of team selection for next week, you've played a couple of games in a row now, um, you're hoping to start next week I guess, but just a, a chance to play one of the two games would be important. Yeah, it'd be great to start um, against Edinburgh um, uh, this time next week, but you know, don't you be a Peter Hall and these sort of guys, it's hard to get a game week in week out, so we've got a lot of time to train for you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, to go for it at the start of the weekend, but they say it's down to Gregor, Shane, and Matt, and Jane, to see what they think the best team is that week for the game, so um, I'd say I've got to do my best I can, and during the week of training, and we'll get the start. Okay, well, this is Finn Russell and Shane Rowe. Thank you very much for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you want to give him a round of applause.